Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. Now, a lot of us have these new Bluetooth high-tech devices, but we also have some of those older headphones that we like that still uses the RCA plugs. We also have the auxiliary inputs in our cars that is not Bluetooth compatible. So in today's video, I have two devices that's less than $12 that'll solve most of those issues. So sit back, relax, and let me tell you all about them. I have these two Bluetooth receivers, but let me show you the model number and then I'll show you what comes in the box. The first model I have is the BR000i. Now this is a brand by Cuddy and it's available in four different colors, as you can see right there. The second unit I have is the HWP9. Again, these do the exact same thing and this is available in also multiple colors. They both come with the main Bluetooth receiver and auxiliary adapter cable charging USB cables, a tie clip, because they do have microphones in for cell phones, and the Cuddy version comes with a lanyard as well. You're also gonna get an instruction book for both of them. As you can see, it's very small in size, but let's take a closer look. It's very compact in size. It takes about two hours to charge it, and you're gonna get about six hours of use out of it. On the bottom, you're gonna see the charging input for your micro USB cable. On the top, you're gonna find your output for your headphones, and then on the front, you're gonna have your power Bluetooth button and then a plus and minus for changing the tracks and turning the volume up and down. Now we took a closer look at it. Let me show you some examples of how you would use it. This is the iPhone 8. On the bottom of it, you see there's no headphone jack. So you'll have to take the iPhone adapter and plug it in like so. But if you have a set of nicer headphones with a 3.5 millimeter cable, you can't use them on them without the adapter and you especially can't use them Bluetooth. So here's how it works. You go into your phone and set up the Bluetooth. And on the unit, just simply press the center end to get it ready to go. You'll see a little indicator that turns blue and red right there on the front. From your Android or iPhone, just go into your Bluetooth setting and scan for devices. The first one that came up is Cuddy. Press on it. And here's where you can sync your contacts for voice commands, but I'm gonna not allow it for now. And now it's connected. Take any device that has a 3.5 millimeter output and plug it right here into the unit like this. Now I can listen to music. Now press play on your favorite song and you're ready to go. To change tracks, just tap the top button or the bottom button. And to turn the volume up and down, press and hold down the plus and minus to increase that. It sounds very good actually. It sounds almost good as plugging the headphones right into my iPhone with the adapter. A few videos ago, I did an unboxing on this Vantrue speaker and it has Bluetooth built in. But what I'm gonna do for demonstration purposes is I'm gonna use the auxiliary and the Cuddy device to show you where I can send my audio from my computer over to this unit. First thing I'm gonna do is just open up the little bay with the auxiliary input. Plug your cable right into there and then plug the other end into the Cuddy unit, just like that. Now let's go to the laptop and I'm gonna see if it can find it so I can start sending music to the speaker through the auxiliary input cable. This works on an Apple or a PC. Go to the Bluetooth settings and let it scan. And as you can see, it pulled up Cuddy right away. Let me go and connect it. Now that it's all connected, let's play it through the Cuddy and see if it works. Just make sure you select your Bluetooth device as your audio source. On the Mac, you just go to the speaker and then choose Cuddy. One of the last things I wanna show you guys is that it does have a microphone in it. So if you wanna make phone calls with it, that's fine. Plug your headphones into your ear and then you can use the little mic right there. That's why it comes with the little tie clip. So if I'm making a call right there, you can see the Cuddy. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. And to hang up, just hit the power button right there. So if you have an iPhone or a computer that you wanna be able to get regular headphones put back on it, this device is gonna really solve your problems. Additional to that, for less than $15, it works really well and it sounds really good. And I'll leave a link in the description of both of these devices in the description below this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.